Hey, what's up? So in this video, I'll show you guys how to play just the two of us. You just saw me playing the song. I have already made a cover before and I love the way I played it. I love the arrangement. I have copied a guy. I think uh, his name is Kaguso. I don't remember it properly. But in this video, I'll exactly break down the song, provide you guys with full tabs and all. So uh, make sure you subscribe. It just means a lot to me. Working super hard for you guys. I do have a goal. It's 100k by the end of this year and I'm actually really working hard for it taking all a request i mean who does all this for you so make sure you subscribe and uh now with no further ado let's move on to the actual song all right so some basic things we are in the stand chilling we don't need a capo now i'll be using my fingers to play the full song so uh quick right hand basic i use my thumb for the top three strings uh, my index for the G string, my middle finger for the B string, my ring finger for the high E string. Now the audio quality won't be good because I'm recording directly through my iPhone and I don't have uh, external mic attached to it. And it's also in a very close room. So everything just echoes, even the guitar sounds terrible. But the first phrase. What I did over here is I started off with this chord shape, it's a C major 7, C sharp major 7. So I have E8, B9, G10, pinky on D11. What I'll do is, I'll plug the chord, especially the D, G, B and the high E string at the same time, then I'll go one fret down, then I'll come back to its original position. So it's a C sharp major 7. And a C major 7, back to C sharp major 7. So we got. So we got. Oh, there's a small slap. Then I'll play this chord. I have my index finger on the 9th fret of B and G. I got middle finger on D10, ring finger on A11. I'll do this. I'll pluck the A, D, G, B, but this time they're not at the same time, but they're just one after the other, which means like this. So I'm going A, D, G, then hammer on from B9 to B11 using the pinky. So we got. Then I'll small slap. And then I'll play B9, slap, then G9, slap. So we got now I'll do this. I'll come to a F minor 7 chord, I'll bar the entire 8th fret, I'll plug the A and G at the same time and do a hammer on from G8 to G10. Then I'll play B9, B11. Then I'll do this. I'll have 11 frets on D, G, B and the high E string. I'll pluck them one by one. So D, G, B. But when I play the high E string, I do a hammer on from 11 of the E to 13. Then I'll play the high E string 11 fret, slap. And then I'll play 14 fret on the B string slap so after that you just repeat the same phrase again so we got and instead of just playing this chord shape i'll just stay on the f minor 7 and after that i'll just play a 8 and the high e string 13th fret together so after that goes to I see the crystal rain of fall and the beauty of fear. So it's almost same. I now play a C sharp major, not a major seven chord. So I have top string nine fret with a thumb. My Index finger on the B string 9th fret, middle finger on G10, ring finger on D11. I'll plug the chord, E, D, G, B string, 
like this one two began so bum, bum, began. bring it one fret down so it's now a C major so then I'll play G9 then I'll play B8 B9 B11 and then I'll strum the F minor 7 chord then I'll play E8 and E11 with the pinky. Then I'll do the same chord shape over here. It's a E flat minor 7, E flat minor 9. So I'll pluck DGB high E string again in the same way. In the song, I do this a lot. Instead of plucking the string like this, or neither doing it like this, what I do is I just go for like a quick plank. So I'm just basically plucking every string, but it goes super fast. So so same way, do the same thing. So we got. Back to C sharp major. Plug it twice. Then do a slide from 11 to 13 on the B string. Then you come to this chord shape. It's just a minor 7 chord of C. Uh, so I plug the chord like this. I have 8 fret bar. I got ring finger on A10. A pinky on B11. I'll plug the chord E D G B string together twice. Then I'll play the high E string eight fret B11 and strum the F minor seven chord. After that, we do this. I'm still on the F minor 7 chord. I do. I'll do a hammer on from G8 to G10. Then I'll hammer on from 8 of B to 9 to 11. So it goes like this. Then I play E8. So back to the same thing, C sharp major. To make those rainbows in the then I do this. So, so we got same way you do the hammer on on the E flat minor nine chord. When you play the high E string eleven fret, when you tap on the sixteen fret of the high E string, then you play the thirteen fret of the high E string, then eleven fret on the high E string, then you play B string eleven fret. So yeah. And back to that C sharp major chord, plug it twice, and do the same thing. Slide, and C minor seven, F minor seven. Now this is not completely his version. I do have added a little bit of uh, my personal things which I like. So we got. part the chorus over here I do a slide from 13th fret of the B string to the 11th fret so it goes like, it goes like this then I play B9 and then I come to the C sharp major chord and then I plug the string like this so I pluck E D G B one by one and I do a hammer on from 9 of B to 11 then I play B9 Then I do this, I plug the C minor 7 chord twice, and I hit the high E string, then just strum the F minor 7 chord, so we got. Then I do this, I play the high E string 11th fret, B13, just a minute. So I went E11, B13, E11, B13, 
Then I do a hammer down from 11 to 13 on the high E string. Then I do like a bend on the high E string 13 foot. So we go. So now I do a slide from 13 to 11 foot on the B string. B9. Then back to C sharp major chord. Then back to C minor 7. F minor 7. And let me just repeat that uh, the first thing which I showed you guys, the first phrase. Now, that's basically the whole song. It's a little bit tricky um, in terms of the shapes which we played over here, but it's not completely hard. So just take sound practice and I'll just play the whole song very slowly. Just look at it. I do have added a bit of slides and extra slaps in between which you can do once you actually learn the main phrase and all so just take time practice and if you have any doubt please let me know and for more easy and a kill lessons like this make sure to subscribe see you guys back in the next video peace out bye